Hello there, my name is Mr. Smartonkey. Welcome to another episode of Weapons of the Wasteland. Thank you all once again for your continued support and for voting on which gun you want to see me mod next. I guess you guys like complete mayhem because the minigun was the most popular. Let's destroy some enemies. As always, I will start off by showing you guys the sights available, but for the minigun there's not really a whole lot. There's basically no sight, <laughs> which is really nothing. Or the gunner sight, which also doesn't really do much. I mean, it's quite hard to tell where the middle is of this thing, but of course it's a minigun, it doesn't really matter. You're just gonna spray and pray and all will be well. So as always, before we start performing upgrades, we need to see how the regular minigun does in action. And it does quite well, as you would expect, it's a minigun. <laughs> it just absolutely demolishes, especially these ghouls. They're so bloody and everything just flies all over the place. Arms and legs and heads and it's great fun, really. So the stats on this gun, 8 damage, which is actually, I mean, of course it's very low, but the rate of fire this gun has obviously makes up for that. I mean, it's a minigun, what do you expect? Uh, 272 fire rate, that's definitely the highest we're, uh, we've seen so far, and probably the highest we'll ever see, except for maybe the laser gatling gun. I'm not sure what the fire rate on that is. Uh, 131 range, there's actually nothing to be uh, sniffled at for the minigun, it's pretty impressive. 35 accuracy, not very good, but I gotta be honest, you hit a lot with this gun. The stability on this thing is extremely good, recoil control is very high. But anyway, um, you can see that we take care of everything with, like, no problem whatsoever. And in VATS, the gun does alright as well, but it's very heavy, so we don't get too many shots off. And we also don't manage to kill the Super Mutant just with VATS. So now that we've seen a regular minigun in action, it's time to perform some upgrades. And it really is upgrades. There's only so many things you can do. Um, it's, uh, it's an interesting weapon to upgrade, because there really isn't much to it. But the differences are f somewhat significant. Um, the only real thing that changes anything is the uh, barrel. So the options are standard barrel, accelerated barrel, and tri-barrel. Uh, this one requires gun at rank 3, so that's what we're going for uh, on this first upgrade. And then the second one is going to have uh, gun at rank 4. We're only going to do three different guns on this, basically. The standard one, and then the two upgraded versions up to these two. Besides that, there's not going to be much of a difference. So anyway, we're going to go for the accelerated barrel on this first one. Increase the damage and fire rate, has inferior range and accuracy. It's fairly significant, actually, the range. Um, but again, it's with the minigun, it's kind of an it's kind of an odd weapon, isn't it? It ranges. I mean, it's important, but it's also not really. It's just kind of a, a weapon you don't really use like all the time anyway. Um, but anyway, so the damage goes up by one. It's fairly insignificant, but the amount of uh, the, the the rate that it fires at basically makes that one damage actually somewhat significant because of course the bullets just fly out like a madman. Uh, but anyway, so accelerated barrel. For the sights, we're going to go for the gunner sights. Only, again, only one option here. Um, it gives him better focus on sighted accuracy. And for the muzzle, we're not going to go for the shredder because this decreases the range. It does have a superior bash, but I think the range decreases just a little bit too much to be worth it. And are you really going to be meleeing with a minigun? Like, you're, sp you're using a minigun. You don't really need a melee. If something's next to you, you just blast it to pieces, you know? Like, you're not going to bash with this thing. So, yeah, that is the high-speed minigun. So now let's have a look at the high speed minigun in action. So this gun has improved damage and improved fire rate. So nine damage up from eight, which I mean, one is not normally is not really a big deal. But of course, when you're firing this fast, one is actually going to be quite significant. Uh, 313 fire rate now. That's extremely ridiculous. 95 range has gone down quite a bit. 39 accuracy. So those stats are quite low on this gun. You'll see there's a big difference with this one and the next one when it comes to range and accuracy. Uh, but to be fair, they all they're all very fairly similar. Uh, there's definitely some noticeable differences, um, but they're 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 similar enough that I mean, whatever upgrade you make will perform well. I mean, I mean it's a minigun, so again, it, it'll perform well no matter what you do. But once again, take care of all the enemies with no problem. In Vats, we uh, do a little bit more damage than the last gun, uh, but still can't quite take him down. So now I've seen the high-speed minigun in action, it's time to do the final upgrades. Not really, again, we've already sort of gone over this, but yeah, not really anything different here. So this requires gun at rank 4, we're gonna go for the tri-barrel. So this is an inferior rate of fire, and in the rate of fire is a fairly, I mean, it's probably the most important thing about a minigun, but I do, I do like the other stats that it gives. It has better damage, range, accuracy, and recoil. And recoil uh, is actually quite important, but you, you won't notice much of a difference, at least I didn't when I tested these guns. There's not really a massive difference there, but the better damage, uh, so this goes up to 10 damage now from 9, and better uh, range accuracy, it's all fairly significant, I mean this means that this this range is actually really long, this is nearly sniper rifle range, you could use this as a really long distance rifle, well not really a rifle, but whatever. So anyway, we're going to put that on there, the tri-barrel, we're going to put the gunner sights on there as well, to improve the accuracy a little bit more, 
uh, better focus on sight accuracy again. And the muzzle, once again, we're not going to put the shredder on, just going to leave it on no muzzle. Again, I think the uh, inferior range, sort of, the range decrease is just a little bit too much for my liking. Um, so yeah, that is the high-powered minigun. And last but not least, the high-powered minigun. So this is actually my favorite of the three. Um, it's just, I, I just prefer a high-powered and more ammo-sufficient or efficient gun, so this gun doesn't fire as fast, but it has 10 damage. It's over 9 from the last one. 177 fire rate, that's gone down a lot, but this just means it, it becomes more efficient with its ammo. 179 range, which is obviously quite a significant upgrade from the last one. I think it's about, about double. 53 accuracy, still not really uh, that high, but to be honest, it's not really that important because, again, you'll just... It's so stable that even at longer distances, it seems to be fairly accurate. I mean, you can see when I'm attacking the Supermoon, almost every hit or shot does seem to hit the enemy. So I think it's um, it's fairly insignificant what the accuracy is because it just seems to hit the target anyway. Because the stability, the recoil control is so good. Once again, same as last gun, we do a little bit more damage than the first one, but still can't kill the enemy if that's in one go. So as always, we'll have a quick look at the comparison for the minigun. So it's going to be a very quick one. The second gun comes first, the first gun comes second, and the third gun comes third. Um, I think this is because the third gun, of course, uh, it does more damage, but it does it over a slower amount of time because the fire rate's lower, but it conserves ammo a lot more. Uh, overall, I prefer the gun, even though it does less damage in, or yeah, less damage in the smaller amount of time. Thank you all for watching this episode of Weapons of the Wasteland. Be sure to let me know which gun you'd like to see me use next in the comments. I noticed the .44 pistol was quite popular as well last time, so if that's what you want to see, let me know. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.